Now, let's welcome Mr. Dimby. Hey, y'all, and welcome to Dimby's Playful Parable. There's bugs flying everywhere. Mm. Lord, I love being outside, but I don't like being attacked by bugs. Oh. I'm going to tell y'all a little story about that in a minute. But first, welcome, and let's get ready to learn and have a wonderful time doing it. Ooh, 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 mm. Mm. <laughs> See y'all in a minute. Now, let's try to say some Hebrew praise words. Saba means to reach out. Toda means singing together. Tahila means singing joyfully using your voice. Yada means to throw up your hands. Hala means to boast foolishly. Zamar means to play an instrument. Mm. You know, Mr. Demi got to have that coffee. But I wanted to tell y'all this story. Remember, I talked about being outside and swapping away the flies and jumping away, you know, to get away from the birds and things like that. Let's just, that is what happened in this book. Not in my church. I might even read the whole story. Once there was a small, quiet church by a small pond. It was an old country wooden church. For years, the people of the small town worshipped there. One day, in the middle of the service, a frog jumped into the church. Ribbit, ribbit. It jumped right up to the preacher. Ribbit, ribbit. Hurry and get that thing out of here. Frogs don't belong in the church. Not in my church, said one of the deacons. Hmm. Another time during the service, a bee flew in the church. Bzzz, bzzz. All around the church, bzzz, bzzz. the people went bonkers. They were jumping around and waving their hands, trying to catch it. Hurry and get that thing out of here. Bees don't belong in the church, said one of the missionaries who was awakened by the bee coming in. Not in my church. <laughs> oh, and this other time, the choir was singing and a duck squawked into the church. Quack, quack. Right behind the choir. Quack, quack. Again, the people went crazy. They were running and jumping and shouting, chasing that duck. Hurry and get that thing out of here. Ducks don't belong in the church. Not in my church, said one of the choir members who really didn't want to sing anyway. The people were getting very angry with the interruptions from these animals. Let's close the windows and the doors so these animals can't come in anymore. And they did just that. However, in any case, <laughs> the next Sunday, from a crack in the roof, two hummingbirds came into the church. 
<laughs> they flew all around the congregation. <laughs> Those people didn't know what to do. They were just jumping and running and waving their hands trying to catch those birds and get those birds out of there. Hurry and get those things out of here. Birds don't belong in the church. Not in my church, said one of the ministers. I thought we handled this problem. The following Sunday, those people just knew there would be no more interruptions. They closed all the windows and the doors. They sealed up the cracks in the floor and in the roof. But some kind of a way, a chicken walked in the church. Bok, 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 it scratched throughout the whole congregation. Bop, 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 No one knew how he got in. They went bonkers. They were jumping and shouting, waving their hands, trying to catch it. Hurry and get that thing out of here. Chickens don't belong in the church. Not in my church. By now, the members were so upset. They didn't know what to do. We are so tired of these interruptions. They don't belong in the church, making all that racket. They said racket instead of noise. That's what we used to say in the country. One day, a traveling preacher came to the church. And he listened to the service and he noticed that the animals came in every time the psalm was read. That's P-S-A-L-M, psalm. That's a part of the Bible. But anyway, he just sat and listened silently and he silently giggled and prayed, Lord, help them to see what you are trying to teach them. What do you think happened? Actually, that's a probably good point to stop with the traveling preacher. I'll let you go get the book to see what else happened. I'll see you later. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about this praising the Lord. Animals don't belong in the church. Not in my church. Now we'll say a few more Hebrew words. Shabak means to shout out loud. Barak means to kneel down. And I'm sure they were doing that in the story. Yada, extend your hands. Toda, lift up your hands. The way they were waving them to get rid of the, the animals. Tahila means to sing. Tafila means to pray. Takwa means to clap. Halal means to celebrate. Kara means to dance. Zamar means to play an instrument. Thank you, sharepraise.com, for these words. Now, I don't own the rights to this music, but this is a song we used to listen to when I was a child to learn those praise words. Yada. Extend your hands. Toad out. Lift up your hands. Talk while me to clap your hands. Thank you, Walt Whitman and the Soul Children of Chicago, for helping us learn these praise words. Just like in the story, you can tell the animals. Let me turn that down a little. The animals were teaching the people how to praise. It was teaching them to lift their hands and wave their hands. 
So I hope that's what you gather from this. So when you go to church today, if you go to church, if you don't go to church, you can still wave your hands and give God praise. You could do it for your parents. Tell your parents, oh, thank your mother. <laughs> y'all have a wonderful day. Hey, y'all. I'm back in the office. You know, we got to keep Dimby's Playful Parables going. So, I just want to remind y'all, we already talked about some of those praise words. So, you all go and get this book, Not in My Church, and let the animals teach you how to praise the Lord, too. You can jump, you can lift your hands, wave your hands, shouting out good things, any of those things. We gonna say it yes in my church. Not in my church. Mm -mm. Yes, we want praise in the church. <laughs> So y'all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to click that subscribe button wherever it is. Up here, down there, up here, down there. Wherever it is, click subscribe. And hit that bell so that you can know when Mr. Demi is putting out a new video. Y'all have a wonderful Sunday. Hope y'all go on to church and praise the Lord. <laughs> All right. Bye. Every day, learn different ways. Different ways. Read a book a day, build up your pace. Build your pace. Everybody wants to pass school. You're right. It's never bad to have some knowledge. Fuel. You're right. Listen, write more, and challenge. And challenge. Take steps, be brave. You'll have it. You'll have it. Learn every day, learn different ways. Uh, you're a scholar, what the time you take? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love to learn. Oh, uh, I love my class. Yeah. Always take the work. Educate the class, Mr. Danby. I love to learn. Yeah. I love my class. Always take the work. Educate the class, Mr. Danby. I love my knowledge. Yeah. I love my knowledge. I love my knowledge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I love my knowledge. Yeah. I love my knowledge. I love my knowledge. Yeah. Educate us, Mr. Dembe. 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 Educate us, Mr. Dembe.